Do I say every time it might be a little bigger? I mean, sometimes it is a little bigger, but not this time. Ooh, look at the spots on him, though. A little humid out here today. Mm. We got to get fishing. So let's get fishing. Now we're rolling. Good morning, folks. John with AJ Outdoors and we're fishing again. We're finally on the Mako again, right? So I've had a repair issue that I was doing with the fuel system and then some stuff happens around the house. You all know how it goes. And I just wasn't able to get stuff done. And I think it's been probably three or four months since I've had this boat on the water. But she's running like a champ now and we're on the water. We're actually on Calaveras Lake. Calaveras is just south of San Antonio and if you watch any of my other videos on Calaveras, 99.9% .9 of the time on Calaveras, I'm fishing for catfish. But today's a little different. Today I'm going to try to find some red drum. Now folks that aren't from around down here, red drum, is that a brackish water lake or something? Nope. We're like three, two and a half hours from the coast. This is a freshwater lake, uh, but it's a power plant lake. Because of that, I guess, the, it stays warm enough. Our water temp right now is like 91, I think. And it has the right mineral bear, uh, makeup to support red drum. But they have to stock them because they can't reproduce here. Okay, so they don't spawn. It's basically, uh, Carolina rig. I've got a slider, so I don't use a round sinker that you put the line through it for your Carolina rig. I use a, a slider so I can clip on different types of weights. Uh, but other than that, it's a swivel. Uh, leader, circle hook, and a big shrimp on it. I'm gonna bring this rod in first. That's the one that had a, a bite earlier and then never hooked up. Just see if there's still bait there. See how this bait's doing on there. Ugh. And yeah, we're baitless. <laughs> there you go. We got robbed, boys. We're fishing on credit, as you would call it. Ah, also, my boy Oscar, you might know him as Shimano Pen on Facebook, the uh, backbone of Fanatic Association, uh, was out here the other day, him and Albert and them, and they were tearing up the reds and they were fishing with fish bites. So here's what I'm going to do. That dude robbed my bait. Once the bait's gone, it's gone. These fish bites, and this is shrimp, and it's in that, uh, oh crap. I'll put the name of it somewhere on the screen because I forgot what it's called, but it looks kind of rainbowish, different colors. And I'm going to put that on. Actually, I'm going to put my shrimp on then now. And see if it's that easy for them to steal it again. Well, that might be real slack, John. Those fish bites, this the long lasting ones, stay on your hook forever. I mean, the product eventually deteriorates, right? But it has kind of like this biodegradable, biodegradable mesh in it that uh, keeps everything together for a lot longer than the, the old fish bites. So let's do that. Amped it up a notch. See what happens. See what happens, Captain. PPA. That's for you, Joe Willis and Marcus Cherry. Pinpoint accuracy, son. <laughs> Inside. I'm gonna put this in a new spot. Oh, there is a fish on it. What do you know? Oh, still there? Oh, he might have got off. This thing's been getting nibbled and played with and my line keep slacking up. I bet you there's a little bitty channel, channel cat on here. That's my bet. Channel cat, what you say? Before I pull it up? All right. 
Let's see what we got. He's fighting at the end. Oh, hey, target species. Target species. Red drum, Calaveras Lake. Freshwater red drum. Cool. Not near the size. So that's another thing that's different with these ones as opposed to on the Texas coast. Um, minimum is still 20 inches, right? It needs to be at least 20 inches. But the max, there is no max. There's no, you know, on the coast you get one 20... Eight inches or larger, you got to put a tag on it from your license and all that. These ones, nope. If it's over 20 inches, no matter how big it is, you can keep it and you don't have to tag it. But you're going back. Cute little guy, huh? Look at him. Oh, he's so cute. Let's get you back in the water, little guy. And away he goes. All right, well, target species, like I said. So... I'm bending down to see under the bimini to watch over there. Uh, so the shrimp was gone off that hook, but as you can see, the fish bite is still there. That's one thing good about those fish bites is they can't snatch it off of there as easy. Giants, baby. That's all we do is catch the big ones. That's all we do here at AJ Outdoors is catch those monsters like that. Boys, let's play some more. Let's play some more. Mm. That, that's a good fish, good fish, fish on. All right, we got one on, boys. This is not false alarm. Not big. Matter of fact. I might have just lost him. Nope, he's still there. I think, golly, he got to be another rat. Wait, he hit it. I thought it was much more serious fish. Here we go. Fish number two, though. <laughs> Not quite a twin. He, I'm going to give him a little. Oh, he got off right at the boat. Uh, uh, uh. I'll off right here. So he was a little rat again. You probably saw him on that camera. If you saw him, he counts. So, he got the shrimp, but he didn't get the fish bite. Getting the babies, baby. Rat reds for days. So that's a big announcement I was going to make on this video, guys. I'm going to start a a new uh, guide service. Our guide service name's gonna, you would think A&J Outdoors Guide Service, but no, I'm changing it up a little bit. Guide service is gonna be Rat Reds for Days. That's my guide service name. You wanna come out to Calaveras and catch Rat Reds? I'll be your guy, okay? I hope you all know that I'm joking, right? There he is. There he is. He's on. You guys see the bite that time? He's a rat. He could be the same fish. He got off, went back over there and said, Hey, I want to bite that bait too. Definitely a rat. Oh, he's got a little tug to him though. Good. Let's see, boys. This time we're getting them in the boat. No net needed. Oh, he got a little more tug when he gets closer to the boat. He don't like the boat. Well, he don't like my boat. This Mako is a nice boat. And in he comes. Look at right there, boys. All right. Yes, he is another rat red. Too small to keep. But he's a little cutie. Again, the shrimp was gone, but the that was on there. There you go, boys. Killer. Look at that. What's he got on there? Ah, come on. I don't want to hurt you, bud. You're going back in the drink. Look at the look at the spots on this guy. Five spots on that side. I guess you'd count five with that little spot in the tail right there. Pretty freaking awesome looking fish. 
but you go back and get bigger. Tell your brothers I'm big brothers. I'm here waiting for them. All right, three fish. Cause I'm counting that one. Three fish, all rats. Two off the same rock, same spot or area. Having a good time. Still got to run this boat a little more to make sure the go-go juice repair was still completely successful. All right. All right. As soon as I turned you off and put that other line in, a little front line's got hit. This is a little bit better fish. A little bit better fish. Not sure if it's keeper side, but better than those first two. At least fight like No, look at that. Almost a freaking carbon copy. Right up to the upper lip this time. Sorry, buddy. Here we go. So this guy's got three on that side and, and there's one on the tail that's just showing through. And that side he's got three and the one on the tail. Cute little guys, pretty little fish. But again, we want their big brothers. Well, folks, we didn't slay any monsters out there, but I did accomplish what I really wanted to accomplish today. Just finished that fuel system re uh, re maintenance and repairs that I did. So it was to get the boat out here and run it, and I ran it, and not a hiccup. And I wanted to catch some redfish, and we caught eight. They were all rats, but we caught eight. So do me a favor, I'll catch bigger fish next time. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below hit the notification bell beside it. It doesn't cost you nothing. It just lets you know when I upload another video. Uh, and give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. It helps the channel grow. And that's my goal is to grow this thing so I can do bigger and better videos. All right? So again, folks, thanks for joining me on this little trip. And if you've got any questions, throw them in the comments down there. I'm more than happy. I reply to everybody. All right. Till next time. Peace out.